you may have seen this, Chelsea Handler posted a picture nude on a horse. Now she did this on Instagram, uh, not nude, topless on a horse. And she did this as homage to that famous picture of Vladimir Putin on the horse that we've all seen. So here's the picture that she originally put up on Instagram. And now we've put that red bar there. So she did it, she was fully topless uh, with no blur out or anything. And she did this, now that's against uh, Instagram's terms of service. Now we've put it there because also to show nipple, uh, to show female nipple would be against uh, YouTube's terms of service. We're on YouTube. And now I know this could be offensive for some other people, so we did add another bar because I didn't want it. So there you go. <laughs> Thank you. Whitney, I knew I that was, was yeah, I know that was gonna <laughs> offend Whitney particularly. So now we blocked out all nipples, so everyone watching this should be okay because we know the nipple is scary. And uh, okay, so then after that, uh, Instagram took it down and Chelsea Handler was not happy. Uh, so let's take a look at her next Instagram posting. She posted what Instagram sent to her. We've removed your post because it doesn't follow our community guidelines. Again, this was the stuff about nudity. Uh, now what she wrote uh, beneath it, which you can see at the bottom there, she says, if a man posts a photo of his nipples, it's okay, but not a woman, are we? in 1825. Okay, now let's look at her next Instagram post. She did it again. She doubled down and said, I'm gonna try this again. And again, it was without our fancy red bar right there. And Instagram once again, uh, oh, and she wrote on, on the bottom, if Instagram takes this down again, you're saying Vladimir Putin has more First Amendment rights than me talk to your bosses, and of course, what did Instagram do? They took that down after 55 minutes. Um, so I think there's a lot of interesting stuff here. Uh, first off, no thanks necessary for getting rid of Putin's oh, yeah. nipples. You. Um, you know, Twitter is the one that allows nudity. Uh, I've had to unfollow some people that occasionally were posting nudity because Sorry. every now and again, <laughs> you, Jacqueline. Um, <laughs> because no, because every now and again, if, I, if I'm flipping on Twitter publicly and some weird nude thing comes up, like I can't have that popping up. Uh, okay. But apparently someone told me there is a filter to even get that out of the way. But the point is that Facebook doesn't allow it, YouTube doesn't allow it, Instagram doesn't allow it, Twitter does allow it. Um, Look, we live in a time where everyone's naked stuff is out there and webcams and all that stuff. So are these sites just behind the times? Like what is Instagram really trying to prove here? I don't know if sites are behind the time. Like I, you know, I, I love men, okay? I, I love you, you're Thank great. You. But this is like a weird man thing that goes on here because like I'm a lesbian, I'm into chicks, I'm into chicks bodies. But the fact is like boobs don't like wow me in terms of being like a hot sexual <laughs> item. Like they're just, Boobs, you know? So this has to be some weird Freudian. I wrote right here, what's the deal what's with boobs? Deal That's with gonna be boobs. question number three. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like, it has to be some weird, like Freudian man thing where they like, I don't know if, if men in, feel some weird protection over it because they were like nursed from these boobs. Oh, you're going deep. I'm you're going, going deep. I mean, I need to know what it is because it's really just a, a fat sack. And that doesn't sound hot at all. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a right. fat sack with a nipple. On that, that note, I'm gonna feed. skip question number two and I'm gonna go right to question number three. What's the deal with boobs? I mean, really think about this. Now, I, 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 yeah, go ahead. I, I don't get it. I, I mean, I, I agree with you. It is just a sack of fat with a nipple that's really not that different from a man. <laughs> yeah. Why do women have to be censored when men don't? I think it's very strange. So I, I agree with what she's saying, and it's great that she's trying to make that point. But if she's going to go the First Amendment route, I mean, Instagram is technically a business of its own. They're allowed to have their own rules and policies, and if that's against their guidelines, it's against their guidelines, you know? So for her to say it's a violation of her First Amendment rights isn't necessarily true, and plus, I don't think Putin was ever really benefiting from those to begin with. So. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so just to be very clear, you're 100% right. It's not a violation of the First Amendment because it's not the government mm -hmm. coming in and stopping this. The company is allowed to do it, yeah. and if someone else wants to put an app on the Apple Store that allows the, you know, the nipple app and the boob app, the then go app. ahead. So this isn't a First Amendment <laughs> issue, it's a political correctness issue or something it's like that. It's about the larger discussion, it's about again, the larger discussion. of the fat sack. Yeah, the fat sack. Uh, like, I've seen men with, uh, like, uh, many men with larger breasts than mine. Yeah. You know, and I don't know what that's saying about me or them. And they're allowed to put it on Instagram. And that's they can put point. it on Instagram, you know? like. I just, I don't get it. Yeah, um, so to the, to the boob point. Now if, it seems to me that if, if they had shown that 
her boobs, if they had exposed her nipples, it actually would have been fine, and people would have been excited, you know, her fans would have been happy, but it would have been all right. Now, there is a fundamental difference, I think this is what you were going for, between showing a boob pic and, I, and either showing a dick pic and a vagina picture. Mm -hmm. Can we make that, dis Jacqueline, <laughs> yeah. can you make that I, distinction that I maybe that's agree. a fair line I, to draw? Yeah. We're, we're all agreed on that? Fair line. Yeah, I mean, it's a that, fair line. Right. At least you can be like, oh, I get like not showing a vagina or a dick pic because like those two things go together in some way and yeah. can in be sexual. Way. You know what I'm saying? Like it can be considered sexualized items. But like boobs, they're just, it, it's a fetishized item. Like it's not a real a sexual thing. thing. It's a man it's thing, you know? Yeah. And, and you know, people were making comments about, well, women get implants and there's things surrounding them. You know what? Go in West Hollywood, there's calf implants everywhere. I don't see like little red bars over men's calves in pictures, you know? Right. Um, so in terms of the, the sites and Twitter and Instagram and all these other things, you know, everyone says that Tumblr's become like the porn home and they deny it and when Yahoo bought them, they were like, oh, there's no porn on there, we don't know anything about that. <laughs> um, but eventually these things will turn, right? Because no one's not on Twitter because there's the potential for porn, right? No, I mean. Apparently, I need to look at Twitter more because I've never seen uh, anything. I like mean, that. either like who do you follow that you had this barrage? I had of, like, a couple. A couple of the you're the like, point I is, follow half of my people because I just had all these dicks coming out of them. Like, what? I really, I follow like you know, the, you know, Deepak Chopra it, stuff like that. It was like, Deepak I'm not be actually. It was, well, I have to say, this has been a very titillating uh, conversation. Waka waka.